I was going today. Today we're going to <clears throat> talk about some socks. We're going to review some. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. We're going to get right into it. Um, <clears throat> I picked some some stocks three months ago, then six months ago. We're going to review them, review them both today in this episode, and uh, hope you guys uh, like it. But anyway, we're kicking it off with the three month one, and the six month one later. Um, <clears throat> so um, basically, what the companies were. Uh, well, first, the S and P was up eleven percent. <clears throat> well, um, over that free month stand, been a good, been a good free months really. As it's been, uh, this was October, so I mean, these stocks have have done well. I mean, they just kind of took off, and uh, really, the whole market's done well. But uh, that's the percentage we're trying to beat, kicking it right off. I could do the worst, the the worst, the best, and Arisa Networks. Actually, this is the big, the the loss, the. The only one that's lost money in this group, and it's down eleven percent. So, um, it had some earnings, and it, it basically I picked it. Then the in the next week, and then it got hammered. So, and it it, it went down a little bit. It slowly recovered. It was down like thirty percent, or twenty eight percent, or whatever the thing was. I don't know the exact numbers what it was down, but now it's only it went up a little bit, eleven percent. Um, it's only down eleven percent, but versus the market, that's a that's a uh, pretty big uh, miss there with the, the S and P up eleven percent. This is down the exact opposite. It, I guess it <laughs> did the mirror opposite. Um, but anyway, um, that was the worst one. Now we're getting into the positives. Um, the next one was Next Era Energy was up five percent. So essentially, I mean, it's uh, you know, I mean, this this stock has done well. Um, but not really. It hasn't beat the market. This is a market loser. But it's only been three months, and I always, always think long term. And now the next one is kind of a controversial stock. A lot of people hate it. A lot of people like it. It's Roku. Roku is actually up 24%. So that's actually doubled the market, over doubled the market. I mean, this stock has done well. I I bought it. I was recommended in the 100s um, on my Facebook page and all that. Uh, make sure to – I might leave a link down there if I can um, – I could leave a link down there if I remember to. But anyway, Roku was one. Um, I was recommending it, buying it when it crashed down to like a hundred. So essentially, it's done well ever since then. I mean, went up twenty four percent. That was actually the bonus stock of this stock. Uh, thank God I picked four of them because uh, this month. But anyway, the next one is Paycom. Paycom is uh, a software type thing. I could leave a link in the description to talk more. I just kind of want to review, check in. Like I always do, I, I believe everybody should watch. Uh, if if you don't listen to anybody that doesn't review their stock, a lot of these people on YouTube and a lot of these people, they go say, "Oh, I buy this stock. Oh, I buy this stock." You know what I mean? And then you know, then they three months down the road, it could crash twenty percent, and they don't show their face. You know, I show my face regardless. I talk about it um, and and my th thoughts and opinions. And uh, Paycom is one of them stocks. It's been a market crusher over the last year over the last couple of years and it's done well it's up 36 percent just in three months i mean think about that i mean this thing is just on fire i mean this thing just got launched out of a cannon so i mean that's that's how it is um anyway uh with these do with these um the market's up 11 percent. this is up 14 percent. so beating the market these three months so i can pat myself on the back and hopefully you guys buy it long too we're up on the market, um, which is always good. And it's kind of hard to beat the market when the markets kind of just keep going up. Because normally that doesn't really work. Normally the market just doesn't keep going up 11%. Normally what happens is, you know, some of the stocks do well, but then some do bad. And it kind of lags on the market a little bit. But actually, every, when everything goes straight up, like the utilities and all this, and they all kind of go in the same direction. Normally that's how you, it's really, really hard kind of to beat when everything is going up. You know, it's kind of, you know, you want to pick the good ones and the bad ones kind of go drag the market down a little bit and you won't have that in your portfolio and you can have kind of outperform it. You know, it's kind of hard to beat. It's, it's kind of hard to race to the top, you know what I mean? Or but anyway, now we're going into these and these ones are actually coming up next is the sixth, um, was six months ago in July. And actually these are the worst stock picks I've picked, I think on my channel. I mean, these, these are actually the two. Actually, the first stock I'm going to get into is actually the worst performer in my portfolio in a very long time. I, I don't know what happened here with this one. 
and it had some management problems. It had about every single problem you don't want in a stock, and I got hammered for it. Still holding on to it, though. But the market's up 9%. I'm actually a negative 20% in these free stocks. So essentially, the first one beat it. Um, but these ones just, I, I was just, I, one of them, I kind of, if someone told me it'd be down, I would believe it. But the first one is Upwork. Upwork is down over 33%. I was just kind of blown away. I don't know why it's down. I can't really give a, a good explanation, which I said in the video that these was very long-term thinking. Upwork would be this stock that you could look maybe five years back and go, man, I wish I picked that up. You know, the market cap's really, really low, especially now it's like, I think almost a billion. <laughs> so essentially it's growing around 20%. So if it can catch up to its uh, thing and get solely profitable, um, think of the gig economy growing. And I don't think that's going anywhere. I think we're going to see more gig economy jobs. Um, I like Upwork. I, I've used the platform um, before what I do, side jobs, side incomes. And I've done that. Um, you can do a lot of things with that. You can hire people, freelance. And I think the gig economy is actually pretty good. It's actually kind of nice. I like it. I like businesses like that. But the stock, man, oh man, the stock got hammered. I don't know. And then the CEO stepped down too recently. And then the stock just really got hammered. And I don't Really don't know why. I mean, the, the company has performed well. It's just the stock. If if you looked at the the at the the stock, you would think, wow, this company's going bankrupt. You know, I mean, this it must be a horrible balance. It has a kind of an okay balance sheet, but man, this company's going bankrupt. It you know, might as well just they're starting laying off people. Actually, they're growing. They're growing business, but the stock gets hit. I think. I think from its IPO, I think it's now 50, 60 percent. I mean, this thing's just. I mean, where's the floor? You know, it just crashed straight for yesterday or something. But anyway, and now the next one is is Uber. I, and this is the one I was thinking, this is the kind of long-term perspective. I believe Uber will be a good company, but it's going to have to get out the kinks, going to have to go all this out, all the, the, all the political things. And maybe Uber <clears throat> hasn't been the best, but with automation and stuff like that, self-driving cars, I think Uber's really, that's where it shines. Whoops. But, um... I think the Uber will have a, a good, but it's down 26%. Not, not too well with that one. Um, I mean, it, it got hammered pretty good. I mean, so, you know, but Uber, I said it was, I, if someone told me Uber when I picked it, be like, you know, it's going to be down 26%. You know, I'd be like, you know what? You're probably right. If somebody told me, I wouldn't argue that Uber is going to, but Uber actually has a good balance sheet. So I don't think it's going to have business or anything like that or, have anything like that it is losing money but it is getting better there there they will know how to get profitable and they will they have a great business i i think uber is a fantastic business what they're doing with ride sharing and stuff i mean i don't think that's going away i know people you know maybe uber won't be in it but i don't, I don't believe that's going any time anyway anytime soon i like uber as a company the stock uh, you know it's debatable i mean i think uber i think uber will be a winning stock um over the next coming years. I actually, I think it's going to turn around. So I believe it maybe added a little bit to actually all of these because they're down a little bit. Um, I'm not, I don't really add a whole lot, but maybe a small position. But the next one is kind of blows me away too is, is waste management's down only 1%. Basically it's flat. It has, uh, <clears throat> it's basically flat. I mean, you basically broke even because I think it had a high dividend yield, but it's basically flat and gr they were showing growth in China. I know it was kind of that trade uh, trade thing going on with, <laughs> I think, with uh, waste management. Waste management, one of these stocks, I don't really, 100%, it's kind of one of these stocks that performs very well, but I, I haven't really uh, looked at it and everything, especially with Uber and Upwork, you know, I mean, for some reason, them stocks that got hammered. And I think that's actually, I think Upwork is my worst pick on this on this channel. I mean, so, which 33%, I don't know if it can get worse, but you wouldn't want it to get worse, I guess, <laughs> on that. So only down 33%, and I believe it can come back. I mean, these stocks, they can go down. They, I've seen them get cut in half, which is like an NVIDIA. It went all the way to 298, then all the way back down to 120, and now it's back up to 240. So you just have to give it time, give it patience, and don't get too emotional with it, and start doing stupid things because that's why you lose money. But anyway, leave a comment, um, anything that if you hold on to them, um, hopefully bought Paycom. But anyway, um, thanks for watching and everything like that. And thank you. Bye.